everyone, I am Dr. Anjani Devi, Associate Professor, Department of Biotechnology, Vignans Foundation for Science, Technology and Research. You know pretty well that I am dealing with the course Enzyme Technology. So, we are presently dealing with the Unit 3 of the course Enzyme Technology. So, in the last classes, what we have studied? We have gone through what is the kinetics of single substrate reactions. We have studied about the kinetics of single substrate reactions along with that. We have also learned how to estimate the important parameters of Michaelis mental, which are nothing but yeah, Km and Vmax. Besides, we have also learned about the turnover number, which is nothing but we have learned about Kcat. Along with that, we had a little discussion with the catalytic efficiency also, which is nothing but yeah, Kcat by Km. Now, we will mostly deal with the importance of your KM, the sites, we will be focusing on the multiple substrate reaction mechanism and kinetics. Now, we will learn about what is the significance of your Vmax and KM. You know pretty well that these two are MM parameters, that is nothing but Michaelis Minton parameters. So, what is your KM? What is your Vmax? So, Michaelis Minton model where this is applicable. Until now, we have studied about the application of this Michaelis Minton model in enzyme substrate reaction. Besides this reaction, where we can apply this particular model? We can apply this model to antigen and antibody binding. Along with that, we can also apply the model to DNA DNA hybridization along with that protein protein interaction. So, in all these cases, you can apply Michaelis Minton model. There is nothing but you can apply Michaelis Minton equation here. Besides, we know what is this Km? Km is nothing but yeah, Michaelis Minton constant and it is equal to the substrate concentration at which the enzyme converts the substrate into product at half its maximum rate. We have studied that Km will be equal to the concentration of your substrate when your V0 is equal to half Vmax. So, Km is equal to the substrate concentration at which your enzyme converts the substrate into product at half its maximum rate and hence it relates to the affinity of the substrate for the enzyme. We have also discussed that if the value of Km is high, then you have to imply that, that infers that the affinity between the substrate and enzyme is less. If the value of Km is small or low, then there is high affinity between enzyme and substrate. So, your Km will also indicate the affinity between your substrate and enzymes. Along with that, what is this Kcat? We have already studied about your turnover number. What is this turnover number? It is nothing but the rate of product formation when the enzyme is saturated with your substrate and therefore it reflects the enzyme's maximum rate. So, here I have used a word which is called as enzyme saturation. What do you mean by this enzyme saturation? In an enzyme substrate reaction, you pretty well know that. Let us consider an enzyme molecule. It will be having some active site to that the substrate molecule will be going and binding. So, to the active site of an enzyme, the substrate molecule will be going and binding in order to form an enzyme substrate complex which will be further giving rise to your product with the release of your enzyme. So, what is saturation means? Saturation is that point where the active sites of enzymes are completely filled with your substrate molecules. When the enzyme that is present in your sample, the enzyme that you have taken in a test tube, if it is completely, the active sites of the enzyme is completely bound or completely filled with the substrate molecules, then it is called as enzyme saturation that means your active site of enzyme is completely bound with the substrate molecules. So, the catalytic rate here we are calling Kcat as turnover number. We can define the turnover number as 
the rate of product formation when the enzyme is saturated with the substrate and therefore it reflects the enzyme's maximum rate and now what is this rate of product formation how fast your product is getting produced from your enzyme substrate reaction is nothing but your rate of product formation on what are the basis on which the rate of product and product formation depends upon the rate of product formation depends upon how well your enzyme is getting bound with the substrate molecule and how fast your enzyme converts the substrate molecule into product depending upon the binding of your enzyme with your substrate and the rate at which the enzyme is acting upon the substrate in order to convert into product the rate of product formation depends upon and now what do you mean by kinetically perfect enzyme i'll explain you right now so for a kinetically perfect enzyme every encounter between the enzyme and the substrate leads to the product formation and hence the reaction velocity is only limited by the rate the enzyme encounters substrate in the solution so this k cap by km ratio that is nothing but your catalytic efficiency ratio is called the specificity constant we will call it as catalytic ratio as well as the specificity constant and it is a measure of how efficiently how efficiently an enzyme converts the substrate into product theoretical upper limit of this particular catalytic efficiency is nothing but it is 10 to the power of 8 to 10 to the power of 10 per ms so any enzyme whose value is near to the upper limit is inferred that that enzyme is a very efficient enzyme if any enzyme has the upper limit as near to 10 to the power of 8 to 10 to the power of 10 then we can consider that enzyme as very efficient enzyme for example fumarase fumarase is having the catalytic efficiency whose upper limit is near to 10 to the power of 8 to 10 to the power of 10 hence we are considering fumarase as efficient enzyme moreover the determination of km and vmax which are nothing but your michaelis menten parameters the determination of these two parameters is very difficult you can't easily determine the km and vmax so what you are doing to determine these two as it is very difficult for us to determine the km and vmax values we are determining the initial velocity that is nothing but your v not we are first going for determination of v not and then how where from we are determining v not that is from the experimental values of either the product or substrate with the function of time so in order to determine the km and vmax as it is very difficult we are going for the determination of initial velocity by taking into consideration the concentration of product or the concentration of the substrate with the function of time from where you can easily calculate the michaelis menten parameters we can calculate the michaelis menten parameters by using non linear hyperbolic fit or we can also calculate them by using double reciprocal plots which is nothing but your line weaver bach plot from this plot you can calculate the km and vmax along with that you can also calculate these parameters from ad half steep plot so what is this line weaver bach plot how you are going to plot this and what is this line weaver bach equation how you are going to get that equation so you know the michaelis menten equation which is nothing but v is equal to v max s yes, divided by km plus s this is your mm equation so if you take the reciprocal of this equation you will be getting your line weaver bach equation and what is the importance of this plot and what are the disadvantages of this plot 
the most disadvantage of this plot is a small error in the v value will be very much amplified in this particular equation moreover it is very important to investigate the reaction mechanism so these plots are very much useful in order to investigate the importance of your reaction mechanisms so i want to just show you the line weaver buck plot see here this figure represents your line weaver buck plot it is plotted by considering 1 by s the substrate concentration on your x axis and 1 by v the inverse of the rate on your y axis if you see this plot you can see a straight line whose x intercept is nothing but minus 1 by km and y intercept is nothing but 1 by v max and the slope of this plot is nothing but your km by v max so this is your line weaver buck plot and this line weaver buck plot was widely used to determine the terms km and v max so before the availability of this powerful computers and non linear regression softwares we used to calculate the km and v max by using this line weaver buck plot now we are going to discuss about eddy half steep plot how you are going to get this particular equation i'll tell you right now so what is this eddy half steep plot it's nothing but a graphical representation of enzyme kinetics in which the reaction rate is plotted as a function of the ratio between rate and substrate concentration we have prepared a plot by considering rate that is nothing but rate velocity on your y axis and velocity per concentration of substrate on your x axis the same was given here so eddy half steep plot is a graphical representation of enzyme kinetics in which the reaction rate v is plotted against the ratio between rate and the substrate concentration that is nothing but v by substrate yes and this can be derived from michaelis menten equation by inverting and multiplying with a value of k max and multiplying with k max i'll explain you see just see here this is nothing but your mm equation v is equal to v max into s divided by s plus km how you are going to get your eddy half steep plot by inverting this expression just invert this ex expression and multiply the entire expression with v max see here so upon inversion v will be becoming 1 by v and upon multiplying with v max here you got the expression v max divided by v so here you will be getting v max into km plus s by v max into s so if you cross this v max here so that will be equal to km plus s by s so v max now it is equal to v into km by s plus v into s by s so upon nullifying these two we will be getting v into km by s plus v so now the plot is between v and v by s so from this plot you can see that the x intercept is here v by km your y intercept is your v along with that your slope is minus km so the slope of this plot is nothing but minus km and your x intercept is v by km now i'll explain you about hans wolf plot hans wolf plot normally we are calling it as hans plot so what is this hans plot this hans wolf plot is a graphical representation of enzyme kinetics in which the ratio of initial substrate concentration yes to the reaction velocity v is plotted against yes just consider the michaelis menten equation take the inverse of that and multiply the entire expression with yes so yes by v is equal to yes into km plus s divided by v max into s now upon 
nullifying these two we will be getting s by v is equal to km plus s by v max and upon rearranging upon rearranging you will be getting that s by v is equal to s by v s by v is equal to s into 1 by v max plus km by v max upon rearranging we will be getting this expression now we are going to prepare a plot draw a plot between the concentration of your substrate on your x axis and s by v on your y axis so once you got the plot see what is the y intercept here it is nothing but your km by v max and the slope is your 1 by v max and x intercept is your minus km and y intercept is your km by v max here in this slide i have given a comparison between all the three plots for your easy understanding i have considered the two three plots line weaver work plot hans plot as well as eddy half steep plot and i have given the conditions how we have got that particular expression as well as what are the x intercept y intercepts what are the slopes of the curves so i'll give you a small example see what is the equation of this line weaver bug plot how you have received this how you have got this line weaver bug equation you have taken the mm equation and you have you have taken the reciprocal of this mm equation which is nothing but your line weaver bug equation in order to get this hans equation what you have done you have taken the mm equation you have taken the reciprocal of it and you have multiplied the entire expression with the substrate the concentration of your substrate along with that how you have received this eddy half steep plot by taking the reciprocal of your mm equation and multiplying the mm equation with v max so similarly if you consider what you have taken on, on your y axis in line weaver work equation what you have considered on x axis you have considered 1 by s on your x axis and 1 by v on your y axis in order to plot your line weaver work plot along with that the y intercept is your 1 by v max and your x intercept is your minus 1 by km and slope is your km by v max this is in relation with your line weaver work plot similarly these are the conditions for your hans plot and these are the conditions in your eddy half steep plot i want you people to refer this book in order to have the entire knowledge about what are the topics which i have dealt in today's session thank you